Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với chương trình Đồng Tiền Thông Minh và chúng tôi đang trò chuyện với vị khách mời là ông Winston Berry về công nghệ khai thác dầu đá phiến cũng như là việc xử lý nước mặn từ mỏ dầu đá phiến. Welcome back, Mr. Winston Berry. Um, we've talked about the technology of the uh, the hydro um, fracking and also the technology that responsible for treating the waste disposal. Um, so now um, at, we all know that these kind of projects would need a lot of money. So how is the uh, the uh, Southwest uh, Regional Center where you are working now and the U.S. government promoting these kind of projects? Well, under under the presidency of Gerald Ford, they he. He, prom he promoted the fracking industry to the extent that, that the, gov the central government gave it great support mm. for one of the objectives is of the United States to be independent of foreign oil. And that is also one of the objectives of the President o Barack Obama currently. Mm. And the United States is on the way to becoming fully independent in its, o in its oil production. And, um Normally, the oil and gas are the playing fields of the big corporations. So, is it a similar situation in the hydro fracking industry? Well, even in the oil industry, mm -hmm. it's very unique. You know, in Texas, they they have a term called wildcatters. These are individuals that go out for in unproven areas to do exploration. And so, you still have that people who are independent owners. Uh, that frack their own wells because it's less expensive than doing an offshore rig like you might find like, the majors like BP and Exxon mm. doing large deep water projects but hydro fracking is comparatively is less expensive than doing these major projects so you have independents that are doing it also the salt water disposal industry is made up of independents people that identify a need for a region where people were producing oil and they go and they put in the disposal facility. Mm. We are one of those people. We act independently as a third party disposal facility. Independent uh, party, is that you mean that the small and medium enterprises? Yes. We are not, these are not global companies. This is not Shell Oil, British Petroleum, Exxon, Standard Oil. These, the, the industry is fragmented in that way. Because in this kind of industry, you would need a license, right, from the EPA? The, the, the EPA has the general responsibility in the United States mm -hmm. for controlling things. The EPA has relegated everything that deals with the oil and gas industry to the Texas Railroad Commission. I see. So there is a must to, to have a license if you want to do business, either it's a big corporation or individual. Regardless, everybody has to have a license. We have to have, you have to have drilling permits, you have to have injection permits, and these are, these are granted by the Texas Railroad Commission. And now, um, so how much does it cost for you to invest and then to invest in the in equipments and tools so that you can well, drill a well? No, basically, to drill a well, it's not only drilling a well. Wh what we have are holding tanks for holding the water that is trucked or piped to us. Mm -hmm. We also have separation tanks where we separate that little bit of oil out from the water so that we can sell it. The average investment is in the range of Five million dollars uh, per well. Per well. Yes. And uh, nowadays, there are how many projects are there that needs investments? Well, to give you an idea, there are 35,000 active wells and disposal wells in Texas. They license between 400 and 600 new wells every year. So there is a strong demand on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. So that it would uh, need about like uh, 200 or four, uh, well, it, it, in the range, well over a hundred million dollars is required mm -hmm. for this industry. And uh, you've just said that the EPA has um, delegated to the Texas Railroad. Texas Commission. Railroad Commission, yes. And that's interesting. Why is that? Why Texas Railroad? Well, Commission? Texas is sort of thinks of itself as its own country to a great extent, mm. and the Texas Railroad Commission has been, has been responsible for oil production, especially because of the transportation of of all hydrocarbons. So, anything that deals with a hydrocarbon, oil, 
has to be relegated, has to be licensed by the Texas Railroad Commission. And because uh, uh, the Southwest Regional Center, where you are a director of, is working like a fund to call investment for these projects? Yes, what we do is we, we, we aggregate different investments. Investors can either invest in an individual well mm -hmm. or the larger fund where we in turn choose different sites and locations and develop saltwater disposal wells as they are required. And because uh, right now there are a lot of interest in investment in the, the U.S., right? Yes. But basically uh, the investor, especially normal um, ind individual investors, they would uh, look for the real estate industry, they would want to buy a home, a house in, uh, in the uh, U United States so that they can get um, a renting salary, renting income or the appreciation of the, of the house. Um, so uh, what would be um, better if they invest in these kind of projects rather than the real what, real estates. What we what we, our traditional, you, it's investing in a working interest in a well. It's similar to the oil and gas oil and gas producing wells, where you make an investment and you are a working partner and you receive a percentage of the profits of that business. So that um, for if if I put investment in day one and then after annually I've got some distribution. Yes, of you the get profits. distributions. You're investing for cash flow, mm -hmm. and you you believe in the project. You understand the indus. You understand the industry, and you're looking at the type of returns that you're getting. Traditionally, the SWD returns are in the range of fifteen percent. Uh, annually? Yes. Okay, so the uh, the profit would be realized uh, quite fast, right? Uh, after a year or so uh, compared to other types of investments. That's true. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Barry, and we'll uh, take a short break here after we continue, after uh, when the money, the smart money uh, continues. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Kính thưa quý vị, chúng tôi vẫn đang trò chuyện với vị khách mời là ông Winston Berry về à, những công nghệ về khai thác dầu đá phiến và chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục chương trình trong phần tiếp theo ở phần 3. Xin mời quý vị tiếp tục giữ màn hình. <cười> 